Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to make a neon ball house game. So let's start. First of all, we are going to remove the sprite and we are going to set a backdrop. Now, as you will see, there is a backdrop under the name neon tunnel. So we will be using this backdrop in our game. Next, as the name of the game is Neon Ball House, so we are going to select a sprite which is a ball. Here. Next, the next sprite is going to be we need to make uh, two of our own sprite. The one is going to be under the name. We will write neon house game and uh, we can uh, change the color also. We can set it to neon like this or whatever color we want. Then if we want to increase the size then we can do that also shift it a bit here so in this way okay uh, i guess we can we should reduce the size all right so this is our first sprite uh, second uh, which we have uh, created next we'll write it as neon house now we are going to create one more sprite under the name game over so we will uh, repeat the same process or we can do one thing instead of creating this we can duplicate the neon house sprite and here instead of neon house game we can write game over and all we need to do is is to just shift it from this place and place it somewhere here so in this way we have created our uh, three sprites now another thing we want is like we are going to set some level in the game like uh, uh, the easy, medium and hard. So for that also we need to create some sprite. So what we are going to do again. Uh, okay. So if you uh, choose a, uh, click on choose a sprite option, you will see there are button sprites. So we can use this only like uh, if I click on the button tool and if I go on the costume, you will see uh, it is having two costumes so we can delete one of that and on one costume we can write it as easy uh, or we can do one thing yeah yes we can change the color also yes just place this right in the middle similarly we are going to uh, make another two sprites under the name medium and hard. So what we can do, we can just duplicate this sprite, one for medium and one for hard. First we will uh, rename this as easy. Then the next one we will remove this easy and write medium. See it is going outside. So what we can do? We can just uh, move this uh, move this bar in this uh, mid in the center of the button, and we can rename it as medium. Similarly, in the last, we are going to write it as 
instead of easy we are going to write it as hard and we are going to rename this also as all right so that is uh, all uh, the sprites we need in our game so let's now start the coding part first of all let us uh, write the code for so first of all let us write the code for our uh, neon house and the second one is our game over so we are going to write this Oops. we are going to write the code for this now we can uh, just place it at the whatever place we want so the very first thing we need is an event like when a green flag is clicked so we click on this when green flag is clicked and we want that uh, whenever we click the green flag our neon house game it should be appear like in this place only so we need to specify the x and y values so for that we'll go to the motion statement and we use the go to block then we want that it should be visible so we are going to use show after that we are going to broadcast two messages like one is start game and another one is game over so we are going to write it as when i receive message one and what is this message start game then when i receive this message this the name uh, neon house game it should disappear so we are going to hide this so we are going to use hide similarly for a uh, game over what we are going to do is we place a ball here okay so uh, let's just assemble our sprites first easy medium and hard after that we place the game over at the bottom so we want that when our game gets over this message should be displayed this sprite should be visible so the very first thing we need is when green flag is clicked and we have already specified its position as of now here so what we are going to do we are going to right give the x and y values with the help of go to block the process is very similar as we have done in neon house game then after that we want that this game over should be only be visible at the very last rest of the time it should remain hidden so for that we are going to use the hide option and insert it here now when this message will be displayed when our game is over so we are going to write when i receive a message not start game but game over so we click on this new message and game over so what should happen when i receive game over this should be visible this message this sprite so we use the show block all right now next we are going to do is yes for the easy one what we are going to do in the same way as we have done for neon house and uh, game over first we'll select an event and we need to specify its position like as of now we have placed it here easy so uh to give the x and y value which block we use the go to block so we go to the motion statement and use the go to block insert it here then after that we want that uh, the game it should be visible so we use the show option next what we are going to do when i receive uh, like uh, when should Uh, with this option be uh, hidden 
that is after the game starts this option should uh, uh, get disappeared so what we'll use when i receive instead of game over we'll write start game and when i receive start game what should happen uh, this uh, sprite should hide now the very important thing we are going to write next what should happen when we click on this sprite when we click on this easy our easy level should start right so we are going to use when this sprite is clicked when this easy sprite is clicked first of all it should hide then we are going we need uh, some variables what are those variables the very first is ball speed then we need another one with the name of ball delay and one more with the name of ball size and we are going to keep it hidden so what we are going to do when we click on easy sprite then we are going to set the ball speed as very uh, normal like one then we are going to use ball size as one and the very last thing the third one is ball speed we are going to set it as 20 and then we'll uh, do what we'll broadcast a message like start game so uh, we are having an option in event block broadcast not game over but we are going to change it to start game so this was uh, it for the easy sprite next we are going to write it for the medium one now remember the uh, these are all are same the for the easy medium and hard the same way we have written for easy here also we are going to do first we use a event block then we need to specify its position for that we need a go to block so go to here and after that what should happen it should be visible so we use show now as it happens when it, uh, we get a like when we click on this our game will start and this option should uh, disappear so what we are going to use when i receive start game then this sprite should be disappear so we use hide now very important like as we have written in the easy one we are going to use the same almost so we click on this and copy this and paste it here now instead of ball speed 1 we are going to increase the level so this was uh, about the medium sprite now we are going to write the code for hard one in this again we are going to follow the same step we click on the event block we use when green flag is clicked then we want that it should be visible at that time so we use show now what should happen when we click on this our uh, hard level should start and this should be disappear so we use when i receive start game then it should hide now as we have created in the easy and medium part we are going to copy this and paste it here and we are going to make it a bit hard so we are going to increase the parameters all right so we can uh, change this also according to us so this was about uh, the coding of other sprites now let's start coding with the ball like 
how we want our game should be how i want our ball should react in the game so very first like when we click on the green flag see i'm clicking on the green flag this ball is visible so as of now this ball should not be visible so first we are going to use an event when green flag click and we want that this ball should disappear so we are going to use hide next we are going to write what should happen when the game start like if you remember we have given a message of start game oh, yes so we are going to write code for that when i receive start game what should happen like the ball will start making its clone all right so there is a option of create clone of myself like this sprite will start creating its uh, clone next we want that it should wait for like we have already made three variables ball delay ball size and ball speed so ball delay is amount of time the ball should is going to wait so we want that it should wait for that much of time so for that we use first wait and instead of one we are going to write ball delay and after that what should happen again uh, the ball should start making its clone so create clone of myself and remember this process these two process is to be repeated again and again so for that we use a forever block and place it here all right then what should happen when the game over message is displayed so again we we'll first use an event not this we use when i receive game over now when i receive game over when the ball, ball receives the text as game over then it should it is going to stop everything like uh, stop uh, all the scripts all the code we have written so here we are having an option stop all instead of all we are going to write other scripts in sprite like uh, whatever like this is one first script this is the second script this is the third script and we are going to write one more so when the game over is received then every script uh, will stop performing and after this we want that uh, this uh, the clone the copy of the ball it should be deleted so we use delete this clone inserted here now next what should happen when the ball has already create a clone of itself now that we are going to write when i start as a clone like when the ball uh, start as a clone then first of all it should go to any random position so we use go to random position then uh, then we are going to write point in any direction and so for that we are having an option point in direction 90 now instead of 90 we want that it should point in any random direction so for that we are having an option in operators you'll see pick random 1 to 10 so we are going to use it and insert it here now instead of 10 we'll write 360 so it will point in any direction from 1 degree to 360 any number then what size of the ball we want so we can use that we will go to the looks option and set size you will see yeah set size to 100 then we want that the color effect should be negligible and the ghost effect should be there so First of all, we use the set color effects to zero, and we use this again, and we use set ghost effects to 
100. Like that should be maximum. And we want that should be visible. Then we want that uh, the ghost effect should uh, decrease slowly and slowly. And let's say we want it to be decreased in 10 number of uh, steps. Okay, so first we'll write, see. First we'll wait for, uh, let's say, point one second. After that, we want that our ghost effect should change by minus 10. We use this here. Like we are slowly and slowly reducing the ghost steps. Now if you remember in the very first, we have given the ghost effect to be 100. And we are reducing it by minus 10, like 10 every time. So how many steps we need to make it to complete 0? 10 steps. So we are going to repeat these two lines by 10 number of times. We will go to repeat block and use this. Click on this and insert it here. Now, what we are going to do next? Now we are going to write the process which is which will be happening again and again. So we click on the forever block, use it. Now we want that the ball should keep on uh, moving here and there in this stage. So we, uh, we are going to use yes, move 10 steps. Now instead of 10 steps, what we are going to write? set uh, ball speed like whatever ball speed is we are going to uh, move our ball with that that much okay and if our ball reaches in an edge like uh, in any edge it should bounce back so in the motion statements we are having a block of if on edge bounce use this and insert it here now See, the actual, the game is like uh, we are going, uh, the ball is going to keep on bouncing in the stage and we are uh, going to place our cursor, mouse pointer here and if the, uh, the ball touches our mouse pointer, the game stops. So, for that, for the sensing part, like when the ball is touching the mouse pointer, we are going to use a condition first, like if... Okay. Yes, if and in empty slots, we'll, what we'll put? We are, we are going to go uh, at the sensing block and use touching mouse pointer. Now, what should happen when the, it touches a mouse pointer? We can play any kind of sound also. So if you can go to the sound option, we are having play pop. So we, we, we can install and use this also. After that, we want that once the ball touches our mouse pointer, our game stops. So we are going to broadcast a message of game over. Now next, what happened? Like if uh, it does not. So. We are going to insert one more condition like if our mouse pointer uh, goes outside this boundary, this stage area, then what should happen? So first we are going to use like a, another conditional statement if and here we are going to write first of all in operator, see the these boundary are like 220x, this is the 220 direction maximum minus 222 plus 220 and the y is plus 172 minus 170 so this is the dimension of this space so what we'll do we will use uh, we are going to check the position of mouse pointer so very simply first we use or operator like we are going to check two conditions like first condition is for x and another is for y now for x also we are having two situations 
whether it is uh, is it positive x or negative x and similarly for y we are having two positions whether it is positive y or negative y so we are going to use one more insert it here and insert it here then what we are going to do we are going to check right yes we are going to use this equals to operator and what we are going to write 220 and see this is the horizontal space minus 222 plus 220 so first we have used 220 and this is what the x position similarly we are going to copy this and insert it here and instead of plus 220 we are going to put minus 220 so in this way any one of this condition if it is true our uh, this block will be executed now next what we are going to do we are going to check for y position in the same way so see yes uh, yes instead of x position we are going to use y position here and what is this this is 170 similarly we will copy this and place it here and instead of minus plus 170 we use minus 170 so this is our complete block we will insert it here now what should happen in this case again uh, the message should be displayed like the that our game is over so we use broadcast game over all right so this is all about our code let's check it once now i'm going to press on the green flag see what happens so i press this and this is what is coming now let's select the medium Okay, first select the easy. See as as our mouse pointer, as the ball touches our mouse pointer, the game over message is displayed and a pop sound also comes. If you found this level too hard, you can check other level also, reduce the level. Or what else you can do we, are going, we can set the value of ball delay ball speed decrease some also according to your level so this was about the ball game neon house game and use this code make this uh, game and try to make different game also using the same tactics okay that's it thank you